Yeah, boys and ghouls. Um, I don't know, even know where I fetched this one up. Some sort of a freak show. I don't know. Well, never mind. Um, what happened in the meantime is, look at the, look at our board. You can see that it is no longer copperish. Um, there is a nice layer of silver on top of it now, and um, it just took a while. Just about ah, ten minutes. Uh, there's one thing uh, I realized that um, by by shaking it around, by steering it, by wibbling it, uh, I don't really think that the pot supports the process. I think it it rather disturbs it. So don't just don't do it. Just let it stand and and let the little crystals build up on top of it. And this is what you want to do. I'm rather anxious. I um, hope that this time it comes out better. <laughs> this time it could work. And what you can also see is that the solution turned a little bluish. It's the copper two ions that are building up will turn the, the solution slightly bluish and this is also an indicator uh, for it being used up mm. well you could well let's let's leave it in a little longer a minute longer and then see what happened yeah This is it. Sometimes you just have to be a little patient. Huh? This is all there is to it. <laughs> oh, you need a lot of patience for that hobby. And all this computer stuff and this, yeah, you need a lot of patience there. It's more often than not that things just do not work out the way you expect them to work out and then Sometimes it's depressing, especially if you have money in this and, and time and, and all that. It's very depressing if things do not work, but you should keep in mind that this is just it. Yeah, sometimes thing, things just do not work, so. Well, and they don't. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Okay. I take it out now. Check it out. Well, since I saw that uh, a few of the spots were still filled up, I'll leave it just a little. But this time it looks a lot better. Check this out. I don't know, maybe. Sometimes you also realize that. Mm -hmm. You try to do something better, and then at the end, it's not that much better at all. I think I just leave it in a little longer. I don't know this. This stuff takes time to connect with the surface, and I guess we just have to leave it at that a little. I mean, you need to find out this uh, uh, things like that. I mean, it's just by experiment. It's experimental empiric data no, no, this is uh, learning by experiment what we're doing here and sometimes and this is this is not the the pure scientific way about these things but um, 
let's just say that uh, experience tells me that um, it may not be the most scientific way about it, but it's a good way. It's a good way. <laughs> Especially if you're not uh, some sort of a hardcore scientist, but just uh, want to use certain things, then sometimes it's really better to learn by experiment. Once this is done, this whole process is done, you need to polish it off and then you should have something like the silver mirror on there. Uh, uh, one more look at this before I turn it off. You see? The one thing I can probably show you, prove to you, is that um, at least where there was once copper, there is now there's no silver, you see? And once you polish that off, it'll probably make for something good. I'll make a picture and um, once this is done, and uh, place it on my home page. So you have a good picture of that. So, this is it about the silvering stuff and once I have more experience, show you new things or tricks, I'll do it. I say thanks for watching one more time, see you soon and have a lot of fun.